In this video, we're gonna take a look at five different secrets you should know about in Final Cut Pro. Looking at all the media in your browser, it can be hard to tell what you've used exactly down on the timeline. Now, one way to make sure that you don't use the same shot accidentally is to go up to all clips and then select unused. Now I will only be able to see the unused media inside of my browser, but there's actually a tool we can enable to upgrade the browser experience. Let's change this from unused back to all clips. And instead we're going to go to view browser. And now we can select show used media ranges. And you'll notice now that I have these orange lines on my clips showing the different parts of the media that I've used throughout my video. And if you want to take it a step further, you can go to view browser and also show something like the skimmer info. So now you can see the name and time code of that particular shot as you mouse over. I strongly suggest that you actually go into these different browser settings and try enabling everything such as waveforms and even continuous playback. Have you ever exported a video but lost track of it upon export? Well, it's super easy to track it down inside of Final Cut Pro. All you need to do is select the project that you exported from, then go over to the right side under the share inspector, which has these three arrows and at the bottom, you'll see exported files. You can see how many times you've exported the project. You can see what time it was exported. And most importantly, we can click on this down arrow and select reveal in finder. And as long as that file is in the same location as when you originally exported it, Final Cut Pro is going to open it up inside of Finder, making it super easy to locate. This next tip is super handy when you need to know the exact time code of a clip that you're working with down on the timeline. To get access to this, go ahead and hold down option while clicking on the time code. That will bring up this window and wherever my playhead is on the timeline will show all the clips underneath and their respective time codes. So you'll see that as I move ahead, I can see the various shots showing up here with its name. I can see the titles. I can see the time codes of all of these various clips as well as clips that have been disabled. If we go to the top right corner, we can also select show project time code so we can see the overall time code. We can show clip rolls and we can even change the opacity of the backdrop. Additionally, if you ever need to make note of a specific time code, you can right click on any of these and select either copy time code, copy the name of the clip or copy all. When you select copy and the name of the clip, it's going to give you the name plus the time code. So I'll go ahead and select copy Argenio. Then if I were to open a new note and push command V, we can see the name of that clip, what its roles were, and we can see the actual time code. Additionally, selecting copy all, then going to notes, we can see all of the various clips, their time codes, and their roles. In my editing career, I have had countless projects where I've needed to export multiple versions of the same video all at the same time, which is frequently referred to as a batch export. And a lot of people aren't aware of just how easy that is to do in Final Cut Pro. Of course, you could individually select each project, go up to file, and share and export that video and then jump to the next project, so on and so forth. And yes, that would give you a batch export, but an easier way is to just click and drag over all of them. Then we can just right click and select share five projects. And now we can go ahead and just select export file and export these just like we would with any other file. And this last tip is for my friends who have edited in either DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro and have come to Final Cut Pro. Maybe you're used to having two viewers to see both your browser media and your actual timeline. Final Cut Pro does in fact have this feature and all you need to do to get access is go up to Window, go down to Show in Workspace, and then select Event Viewer. You can also get it with Control Command 3. Now on the left side, we can get a view of whatever is in my browser. And on the right side, we can actually see my finished timeline. If this video was helpful to you, you might want to check out this video where I show you five powerful finder tips to enhance your editing workflow in Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.